The Enemy, written by Parles Bach. Let's see the summary of the story. The story opens at the house of Dr. Sadao Hoki, a highly successful Japanese surgeon and scientist who had studied medicine in America. Sadao's house was located on the Japanese coast. He lived there with his wife Hana, their two children and several servants. Sadao and Hana had met in America but were married with the approval of Sadao's father only after they returned to Japan. One day from their veranda, the couple saw a man being violently flung to the beach by wave. They rushed down to help him, afraid that he might be a fisherman in trouble. As they turned him over, however, they realized that he was not Japanese. In fact, he was an American, a prisoner of war who had escaped. Sadao noticed that the man had a bullet wound and was bleeding profusely. While he wondered what should be done, his surgeon's hands seemed to automatically work to stop the bleeding. Sadao and Hana contemplated throwing him back into the sea. It would be the easy way out. For if they kept him, they would get in trouble for sheltering an American. But if they handed him to the police, he would eventually die. Seeing his state, neither Sadao nor Hana had the heart to hand him over. Eventually, they carried the man into their house. Once inside, Sadao took a closer look and realized that the man needed to be operated on. Again, they were conflicted. Why operate and save a white man, their enemy? As they mulled over this, they decided to get the man cleaned first. Sadao left the room and Hana ordered one of the servants to wash the man. The servant, however, refused to wash a white man. As Hana reluctantly cleaned the man, Sadao returned carrying a surgeon's emergency bag. He had made up his mind to operate. With Hana's help, he successfully removed the bullet from the man's back. The man eventually woke up and was frightened when he realized he was in a Japanese home. But Hana allied his fears. Over the next few days, Sadao and Hana nursed the man but were otherwise cold towards him. All through they wondered why they were not able to go to the police. Their servants became increasingly worried about Sadao not informing the police about the American. After seven days they left the house in protest. Hana and Sadao bore this stoically. That day Sadao was summoned to attend to the old ill Japanese army general. Sadao decided to come clean with the general and told him about the soldier. The general could not allow Sadao, the best surgeon in Japan, to be arrested. So he offered to send assassins to kill the white man and dispose of the body. Sadao agreed to the plan. He waited for three nights for the assassins but no one came. Finally on the fourth day, Sadao decided not to take any further risk. He told the young soldier who had regained strength by then to take his boat and row to a little island of the coast. From that, the man could escape on a Korean fishing boat. The young man was reluctant to leave, but he left that night and was never seen again. A week later, after the general recovered from a surgery, Sadao informed him that the prisoner had escaped. The general confessed that he had forgotten to send the assassins. Afraid of being suspected of treason, he pleaded with Sadao to keep the lapse a secret. Sadao agreed happily. That night, Sadao found himself reflecting on his life in America and the Americans he had met. He had hated bearing the Americans' prejudice. He could not feel thankful even to his American landlady who had taken care of him when he had influenza. Then he remembered the young soldier and pondered on his inability to kill the young white man. Oh, 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 oh,